I'm gonna show you guys how to go from this up to these speeds. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I boosted my internet speeds like crazy throughout my home using a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system over a regular router. Now, I do a bunch of speed tests in this video using my OnePlus 15, which is a very fast Wi-Fi phone. And I wanna show you guys the speed differences you could get just by switching your router. Now, results will vary based on your internet speeds, what devices you're testing with and everything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys the differences that I got. But getting a mesh system can potentially help quite a bit by boosting your Wi-Fi speeds throughout your home so things won't lag as much or won't lag at all, depending on your internet speeds, obviously. So let's get started. I have the normal router hooked up, which is the Archer AX55 behind this wall. It's about a foot away. For camera placement, this makes it easier. I have this connected to Earth, and I'm gonna click Go, so I run the speed test so you guys could see. Now, this router is normal. It's fine for up to gigabit speeds. In fact, for the price, it's actually a really good router, and this is a few years old. So it's still delivering, you know, under 900 megabits per second on the Wi-Fi. So still fairly good overall. But right off the bat, because my internet speeds are now five gigs per second, this router, that would be enough of a reason to switch out this router already. Now I'm at the other side of my place. I am about 45 feet away or so. I'd say like 13 to 14 meters, something like that. And I'm going to kick off another speed test. I'm going to show you guys I'm still connected to Earth. And I'm going to click go on the same server and everything. And it has to actually go through four walls. In fact, kind of a little bit more than that because it has to go through a fridge. Um, there's a mini pantry or like a big cupboard kind of thing with a bunch of stuff inside that. And then there's also a furnace. It's on the other side of the furnace. So it has to go through a lot to get here, basically. And I'm getting much slower speeds, naturally. And... The whole point of this is that if I was upgrading my internet speeds from let's just say 500 megabits per second to five gigs and I was sticking with this router, well, that's, I don't think that's a good idea. And that's why I'm gonna show you guys the mesh system next. I set up the Deco B95, it's on the other side of the wall. Camera placement is just easier here. So I'm just going to connect my phone to the main SSID and I'm gonna kick off a speed test on this server right there. So we're gonna click go. And the point of this is just because I have a fast mesh system doesn't mean it's automatically going to be crazy fast. So this is why I wanna show you guys that the SSIDs, the Wi-Fi name is actually, plays a very important role. So we got 1.4 down and we got 1.2 up, which is pretty good numbers, but considering my internet speeds are five gigs up and down, this is a lot slower than that for the phone being so close to the network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the 6 gigahertz band and I'm going to kick off another speed test. And I literally just changed which SSID it connects to. Literally changed nothing but that. And we're getting much, much faster speeds. Much faster speeds. In fact, it would be even a little bit faster if it didn't have to go through this wall, but the router is close enough that I just want to kind of just drive the point home that you could get much faster speeds 4.3 down, 1.8 up. And if I did a local speed test, I would actually get a similar download, probably actually a little bit faster, and the upload would be just as fast. And I actually did a separate video where I compared a whole bunch of phones to each other, and you guys could see the local speed test. I'll link that below in case you guys are interested in that. But just by connecting to the correct Wi-Fi name that this phone allows, I can go much faster. Now, it doesn't mean every device can connect to that, but for the ones that can, the same router, the same internet, the same phone, but just connecting to a different Wi-Fi name can yield very different results. Now I came to the other side of my place. I'm about 45 feet away or so, which is about 13 to 14 meters away. And there are four walls that the router needs to go through. Plus there's a furnace it needs to go through. There's a fridge it needs to go through. And there's kind of like a mini pantry or like a big cupboard kind of thing because I'm on the other side of the kitchen. Uh, and so essentially this is, it's gonna be hard for the router to send its signal here. And in fact, it doesn't even show the Earth six gigahertz band. Um, and sometimes it does show it, but I try to connect to it and it just has trouble connecting to it because the six gigahertz band, while it is incredibly fast, just has very little range. It's, it's short range, incredibly fast, but short range. 
So I'm kind of forced to connect to the main SSID, which is not as fast, and but obviously has more range, and we'll kick off a speed test. So same server, we'll kick off a speed test. And the question becomes, well, I'm paying for five gig service, and I'm getting nowhere near my five gig um, service speeds. So I got 160 down, and I'm getting, as you guys could see, um, a lot slower than that. Um, a lot slower than my five gig speeds, basically. So I got 160 down and 166 up. And again, I'm paying for five gig service. So if someone came to my house and they were just sitting here and I, they just did a speed test, and then this is the these are the speeds that they got, they're going to be like, you know, what speeds are you paying for? Like two, three hundred megs? It's like, oh, I'm paying for five gigs. It's like, oh, oh, okay. So the question becomes, do I call my ISP, my internet service provider, and ask them to upgrade my speeds and pay more money monthly, or should I just get a secondary deco, a secondary mesh system, not a secondary mesh system, a second unit to become a mesh system, and uh, let's find out. I connected the second deco B95 just to power, so it is in wireless backhaul, which means the secondary one is wirelessly talking to the main one. And now that one, the secondary one is about, I'd say, I don't know, I'd say 10 to 15 feet away or so. Um, and I'm going to run a speed test. And again, I'm gonna connect to Earth first. And I'm gonna kick off a speed test. I'm gonna connect to the same server. So change test server. I'm just connecting to the same one to keep the results as consistent as possible. And we're going to run a speed test. I'm not going to try not to touch the phone. So I'm getting um, 1600 now. And it's a lot faster now because there's a secondary one. So now when I'm walking throughout my home, it's going to be very, very fast around my house. Now, I might not get super fast speeds in one corner, but... Honestly, this is probably one of the slowest speeds that I'm going to get throughout my home just because I don't have the biggest home in the world. Now I'm going to connect to the Earth 6 gigahertz band and I'm going to kick off another test once it connects. So it connected. So again, same server and everything. I'm going to click go. And keep in mind, the Deco B95 is in wireless backhaul. It's not connected via Ethernet to the main one. And I'm getting much, much faster speeds on this side of my house just because I literally connected a second one and this is the beauty of a mesh system. This is what, so it's not necessarily worth upgrading your internet speeds if you're just not getting fast speeds on one side of your house. It's, router plays a very important role in increasing speeds or getting you closer to the speeds that you're actually paying for. Now we're at the ultimate setup because we actually have a secondary one that's hooked up via wired backhaul or ethernet backhaul to the main router. In fact, it's actually going through two different switches. Both of the switches do support 10 gig speeds, but my main router, which is hooked up to my ONT, which is kind of like a fiber modem, uh, my main router goes to switch number one, which is a 10 gig. Then it comes to switch number two around here, which is another 10 gig. And then that switch via ethernet connects to this one. So this is a wired backhaul setup. So it, basically what is wired technically it makes its way all the way to the main one so we'll kick off a speed test we're connected to the main ssid same server we'll kick off a speed test and i'll show you guys the speeds that we're getting basically the point is we should be getting very similar speeds as when we're next to the router so we got uh 1.7 down and we're getting one 1077 up basically and the numbers can vary a little bit it could be a little bit slower for the download a little bit faster for the upload but roughly within the ballpark okay so now we connected the six gigahertz band and we're going to kick off another speed test and we'll show you guys what speeds we get and not only are the speeds crazy fast here but the beauty of a mesh system, especially if in wired backhaul, even a wireless backhaul is really, really fast. But and it and it also has to do with this is a very powerful mesh system. It's not any mesh system is gonna get you these speeds. All of this stuff matters. It matters how fast your internet speeds are, because if you if your internet speeds are a gigabit, you're not gonna see these speeds if you do an internet speed test. 
So obviously it depends how fast your internet speeds are. But if you have internet speeds that are faster than the speeds that you're getting, I would check the router first. I'm going to show you guys a few of the settings that I enable to help boost some of the speed. So this can help, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to, but usually it's a pretty good indicator. So when you make your main SSID, which is your Wi-Fi name, that's 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band, you want to go to advanced, make sure channel settings on the 5 gigahertz is set to 160 megahertz channel width. This usually helps with the speeds. Sometimes it goes to 80 megahertz and it's just not as fast. Again, it depends on your internet speeds, but usually 160 megahertz is what you want. The other network I like to enable on the Deco, the, like the Deco B95, is the 6 gigahertz SSID. And I like this one because it's very, very fast. Um, now the Deco B95 is a quad band system, so it actually has two 6 gigahertz bands and I have them both enabled. And channel settings, 320 megahertz is typically the option that's going to, going to be super, super fast. And in fact, I did a video recently where I compared a whole bunch of phones to each other and the iPhone 17 Pro Max is just not as fast as the OnePlus 15 because the OnePlus 15 supports the 320 megahertz channel width where the iPhone, as of now at least, does not. So, but you want to enable the 320 megahertz channel width and just because it's enabled doesn't mean it's not backwards compatible. So the iPhone will still connect with the 160 megahertz. It's just, it can't support the 320 so it's just going to connect with as fast as it can go basically. So, but this one, you're, for devices that can handle it, um, like the OnePlus 15, it's really, really useful. Now, the MLO is something new for Wi-Fi 7. MLO stands for multi-link operation, and basically this means that you can connect the, the 5 gigahertz and the 6 gigahertz bands and make a network like that. But from my testing, the 6 gigahertz band is consistently fast as long as I'm close to it. And so that's the one that I like to use. Sometimes the MLO is not quite as fast as the 6 gigahertz band, even though it includes the 6 gigahertz band. Um, but I just like, I, I just basically have this disabled. Another thing that I do is I go to network optimization and I click on scan. Now what this does is this basically figures out all the kind of the, the least used channels within your area, which can vary based on where you are and it usually selects those channels. So you wanna run this um, at least once when you first get it, um, so it can basically determine which channels are good. Now I've already ran this, so it already knows, it's already switched out the channels to the ones that's least used, and it helps to use run this once in a while. You know, if you know someone might get a new router, they might be on that frequency, on that channel, um, so you want to run this just once in a while, especially if your network has slowed down, probably a good idea to just run this. Um, but if your internet is working really, really fast, then usually, usually it's fine. And then the other thing is that you want to go to advanced and beam forming. This is another one that can help with speed. So I usually enable this. Uh, sometimes with some of these options, when you enable it, the super old devices don't play too well with this stuff. Um, but I haven't found an issue but with enabling beamforming. That's, that usually helps with speeds. In summary, a mesh system can be very useful depending on your specific situation. But a lot of things do play into that depending on your internet speeds, how big your place is, how many walls you have, what devices you have, what devices you're testing with, and a lot more actually. But the point that I was trying to make was that I have five gig internet speeds, when I'm close to the router, as long as I have a beastie router like this one, I can actually get really good speeds. But when I'm a few rooms away, four walls, a bunch of obstructions, I get way slower speeds. So instead of calling to upgrade my speeds, because I'm not even getting anywhere near those speeds, I just get a mesh system, plug it in, even wireless backhaul, I get much, much better speeds. But especially in wired backhaul, I could literally get the same speeds as I am when I'm next to the router. Now. My speeds, again, 5 gigs up and down, the Wi-Fi 7 devices can't go quite as fast as that, but I'm already really happy with these speeds. Now, it doesn't mean you need the Deco B95. If you have internet speeds of up to gigabit, uh, the Asus BT6 is a really good one. The Deco B63 is a really good one. The Deco B67 is a really good one. The Orbi 870 is a really good one. Um, Asus BT10 is a really good one. So it just depends on, you know, what speeds that you have, whether you're using wire to backhaul, wireless backhaul, 
Typically, if you're using wired backhaul, you can actually get a less expensive system because you're wiring it. Um, if you're doing wireless backhaul, typically the more expensive systems have better wireless backhaul speeds. And in fact, you're kind of paying for that um, because they're so capable of delivering very fast um, Wi-Fi speeds on wireless backhaul. And I've actually done separate videos. In fact, I'll link it for the Deco B95 is that even if this isn't wireless backhaul, so if there's no ethernet connecting to this, I can actually still ethernet connect to a device and get really fast speeds on an ethernet connected device to a wireless backhaul node. And I'll link that video. It's actually a very interesting video because I actually do the speed test and I show you guys, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. I would recommend watching that. Um, but anyways, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, smash that subscribe button, like the video, share the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.